Formula SAE is a student car design competition. The teams have to build up a car regarding the rules of the competition. Then they can compete against other teams. There is a different events, endurance race, speed test, etc. The teams are also judged over their design. The team who's got the best not overall wins. In order to structure and assemble the vehicle, we created a skeleton compound by line, points and planes. This was a base to develop the different parts and the subassembly. Different subassembly are linked to the skeleton. In addition to simplify later modification of the project, we've put parameters in it. Any modification on their parameters update the skeleton and by link the different subassembly and parts. Therefore, the interface between the parts are adaptive. Their parameters could also be optimized to make the best configuration. We began at first to conceive the skeleton of the frame which is completely controlled by plans, lines and points of the general skeleton to allow possible mod modifications, simply and quickly. The purpose was here to eliminate all the defects of the connection and cohesion between the tubes of the former version. Meanwhile, we were creating the various necessary supports to come to fix all the components of the Formula SAE, such as triangles and engine. Here, we chose the motorization and the model of the engine. We did the conception of all the parts in the admission of driving air, the reconception and modeling of the system of exhaust, and conceived the fixation of the engine in the frame. For the pedal system, we had to redesign it to add a clutch pedal. The clutch system has been designed completely from the pedal to the engine. We also did the link between the engine and the throttle pedal. To make it, a cable is placed to connect these two extremities while adapting itself to the internal structure of the vehicle. This one is fixed to a turning plate which drives the throttle pedal. This system allows to measure the quantity of fuel to be injected in the engine. Finally, we worked on the brake pedal of the system. We needed to redesign the master cylinder in order to respect FSAE rules. We also conceived a brake booster to amplify the pressure given by the foot. For the realization of our project on the subassembly of suspension, we did a redesign of the triangle so that those ones are parametrized with regard to the angle of inclination of the fixation on the frame. We did a sizing of the rocker, the pushing and the triangles of suspension to validate the solution proposed by the group of the last year. We also checked the manufacturability of our complex parts thanks to the DFX software according to different processes, foundry, milling, turning, etc. We changed our solution for adjusting wheel chamber for manufacturing and the approach of prototyping, so that we answer the main objective fixed in the beginning of the semester. For the realization of our project on the sub-assembly of direction system, we got different budgets depending on the fabrication process. We had a meeting with the project manager of FSAE at the ESAT, which is a French car engineering, engineering school, and he gave us many inf useful information and advices. He told us that, he told us that there are 25 students in the team and they are working for two years on it. The budget for building such a car is a 60,000 euros and 95% of it is coming from sponsors. We understood that we are far from, far from this kind of teams and it will be impossible for us to build the work on. Even though some other information has been used for the design of the car and for the following groups who will work on the project.